road is accessible to every pier. But it takes more than an address stamped on a crate to get goods from Iowa to Stockholm. The car, detached from its train, is shunted toward a classification yard and eventually reaches the railroad lighterage terminal. From there, the freight will be lighted to the proper pier side along with other shipments bound for the same destination. port each year moves the titanic total of 120 million tons of commerce, a traffic unmanageable without the mechanical marvels to expedite it. Such as an extremely mobile crane, a tractor trailer, a fork truck, or a carrier which can nonchalantly straddle and grab up enough lumber to build a two-car garage. And for hoisting jobs demanding really stupendous power, floating derricks can swing up to 300 tons. This locomotive tender is simple. But a port needs plans as well as muscle and machines. To that end works the Port of New York Authority headed by a commission staffed equally by New York and New Jersey, an agency created 25 years ago to unify terminal operations and to promote and protect the commerce of the port. It builds and manages freight facilities, tunnels, bridges, and plans port development. The Holland Tunnel is one of two under the Hudson River which expedites the flow of vehicular traffic between New Jersey and New York. The safe operation of these tubes, 42 feet below the river bottom, means constant engineering. A huge ventilating system blows a complete change of fresh air into the tunnels every minute and a half, draws out carbon monoxide fumes from car exhausts. And should you run out of gas any place in the 9,000-foot-long tunnel, Port Authority police spring into instant action. A powerful tow truck hauls you out in a hurry without charge. For a car to be stalled more than a minute would mean a tie-up in traffic. And traffic is a ticklish problem with millions of vehicles yearly pouring into New York. Authority projects go over as well as under the Hudson. The George Washington Bridge is one of the agency's four magnificent structures which span the various rivers and bays of the port. One of the nation's greatest bridges, costing $60 million, the George Washington, like the tunnels, entails a monumental task of maintenance. Supporting cables must be checked religiously. And of such magnitude is the paint requirement that a complete job takes a four-year cycle. Just as soon as the painters finish, they start all over again. This, then, is the sum total of a superbly coordinated enterprise, an effort evaluated not only in the metered measures of a mechanical age, but fused with simple, sweated toil. <laughs>